So men in 1959 make the most by selling the trucks with the most. Today, it's real smart to sell Dodge trucks. Well, Richard, old boy, you've got yourself a great truck to sell this year, all right. Now, if you've got the most, what do you do with it to sell it? Here's one thing to do with it, Dick. Beat Ford with the most. I'd sure like to. Mike is sales manager. You've talked to our prospects who need a new truck, but have Ford on their minds. Boy, that Ford's got it made. Correction, please, Dick. You're the one who's got it made this year because Dodge has made the best truck this year, and you can prove it. Mr. I'm all ears. You see, people who are sold on Ford are sold because they think Ford is the best truck in one way or another. Different things appeal to different people. Do you remember what you told me about Fred Clark just before the sales meeting this morning? I sure do. Now, Fred is sure Ford-minded, and I think he's a good example of what we're talking about. What do you say we take a run out to see him? Dick, when we see Fred Clark, be sure to pay particular attention to what he says. It won't take you long to latch on to what appeals to him most about Ford. Now, you said Clark is mechanical-minded, Dick. Well, my friend, I'll bet you a lunch on this. I think we'll find Clark is mostly interested in the job a truck can do for him. And that would mean he's interested chiefly in the benefits Dodge engines, horsepower, and payload will give him. Now, when we make our pitch, you can carry the ball. Then I'll add the details that seem to be particularly appropriate. I'll appreciate that. I know more about our new trucks now, but you can help me match Dodge features against Ford's. Nice meeting you, Haley, but as I told your man here, Dodge is way behind with their engines. Ford's got you beat a mile. Sir, this year, Dodge V8 engines beat Ford V8s for every low and medium tonnage model. You get a larger engine with more pep and more economy in every Dodge model. This year, Dodge has a brand new V8 engine for low tonnage models that'll give you a full 205 gross horsepower. Ford still offers an unchanged maximum horsepower of 186, and that's a lot less. Maximum gross torque for this great new Dodge engine is 290 pounds-feet, compared to Ford's smaller 269. Now, this greater Dodge torque will get you rolling faster and get you up the hills easier, Mr. Clark. Well, maybe I better step up to a bigger truck with a little bigger engine. Dodge offers the most in engine power for every purpose, including medium tonnage models, Mr. Clark. With 207 horsepower and a new 318 cubic inch heavy duty V8, Ford's maximum available horsepower for medium tonnage models is 187 in its smaller 292 cubic inch heavy duty engine. Now, in addition, as standard equipment for all 500 and 600 cab over engine models, Dodge provides a big 315 cubic inch heavy duty double rocker shaft V8 engine with 210 horsepower. Ford's maximum offering for comparable models is still its smaller engine with 187 horsepower. Dodge also makes this big premium feature engine available for all medium tonnage conventional and school bus models. Ford doesn't have a push-button automatic transmission either, Mr. Clark. They still have a steering column lever with their ford automatic instead of a convenient modern push-button system like ours. Dodge push-button load flight instantly multiplies D100 engine power up to 5.63 times when it automatically goes into operation in first gear. In routine driving, ford automatic multiplies its F100 engine power 3.07 times when it normally starts operating in second gear. Now, to start in first gear, the Ford driver must either accelerate all the way down to the floor or manually shift into low. Mr. Clark, you're sure to get faster pickup and faster, safer passing power with Dodge load flight. Ford engines with ford automatic just don't give you the same benefits. Look at the size of that Ford pickup box. There's another reason I've always been hot for Ford. They just plain carry more. I agree it looks big, sir, but functionally it'd be of little value to you because of its relatively low payload capacity. This year you can't beat a 59 Dodge in either payload weight capacity or payload volume. That's right, Mr. Clark. 
Recall that a truck's GVW, its gross vehicle weight, helps to determine what its payload can be. Now here are the facts about Dodge and Ford GVWs. All Dodge D100 and D200 models have a maximum GVW that's 100 pounds more than that for Ford F100s and F250s. Dodge D300s have 1,400 pounds more GVW than Ford F350s, except for the one-ton swept line. Now, although Ford has a GVW advantage on this one model, you'll see that we still beat it in maximum payload. These higher Dodge GVW ratings result in greater payload capacity for every Dodge pickup, more than for every Ford pickup. Let's compare our great new swept line pickups to Ford style side models. We'll take a quick look at both their payload weight and their payload volume capacities. The big payload weight capacity of the Dodge D100 swept line pickup permits it to carry 125 pounds more than Ford F100 style side pickups. Now, before I show you how our payload volume stacks up against Ford's Mr. Clark, I want to explain how we figure payload volume so you'll fully appreciate the benefits that Dodge gives you. We call our payload volume our water level capacity. That's to the top of the pickup sides and closed tailgate, the point where water would overflow if the box were filled with it. Just a minute, Mike. I can stack up any pickup as high as I want and still carry the load. So what difference does this payload volume business mean to me? Oh, it can mean a great difference, Mr. Clark. Dodge swept line pickup boxes are up to four and a half inches longer than comparable Ford boxes and all have box sides that are nearly an inch higher. That means you'll be able to not only carry a bigger load in a Dodge, but you'll be able to carry it safer. Son, you have got something there, all right. Yes, sir. With six and a half foot bodies, the Dodge D100 pickup has over three and a half cubic feet more water level capacity than the Ford F100 style side. With eight foot bodies, Dodge's D100 and D200 pickups have over five and a half cubic feet more than comparable Fords. In payload weight capacity, the Dodge D200 swept line pickup can carry 175 pounds more than the Ford F250 style side. The Dodge D300 swept line can carry 125 more than the Ford F350 style side. Payload volume for the Dodge D300 swept line pickup is nearly four cubic feet more than that for the Ford F350 style side. When it comes to carrying weight, Mr. Clark, this year's champion is a Dodge D300 model. Permitting the use of dual rear wheels, our D300 Uteline can carry a huge 1,650 pounds more than the Ford F350 flare side, which does not allow the use of dual rear wheels. All other Dodge Utilines can carry more than comparable Ford pickups, too. Mr. Clark, every Dodge swept line can carry more weight and more volume than comparable Ford pickups. In fact, Dodge offers you the most in load carrying ability in nearly every load tonnage model, whether it's a pickup, a stake, or a panel. When I last saw you, sir, you mentioned that you have a tough time every day trying to maneuver your truck through some mighty tight turns. You said it. I'd sure never get around a lot of those turns without my Ford. In a Dodge, sir, you do even better, lots better. Dodge has a turning diameter advantage over 59 Fords in every single low tonnage model this year. Right, Mike? Right. 1959 Dodge trucks can make a turn anywhere from four and a half inches less to two feet four and a half inches less than comparable 59 Ford trucks. Tests year after year prove that Dodge has this advantage over Ford. Nobody ever told me that before. You think they would have the places I have to go in my truck. Things like that are mighty important to me. Yes, they are, sir. And I think you'll agree that there's really only one way to get to know all the important Dodge truck differences. That's to take the wheel of a new Dodge truck for yourself. We'd like to give you a demonstration tomorrow at your convenience so you can see just how Dodge will perform for you. Would uh, 10 in the morning be convenient or uh, would 2 in the afternoon be better? We can appraise your present truck at the same time. You see, it still works wonders, Dick, selling in terms of customer benefits. Now, when we see Tom Adams, we'll do the same thing. Judging from what you've told me about him, his truck needs are quite a lot different from Clark's. I think he said he was very interested in the looks of his truck. Look at that. 
Now that's what I call looks. Ah, uh, you said it. And in the truck world, looks are called styling. And truck styling, like anything else concerned with looks or appearance, is still a matter of personal taste. We believe Dodge offers trucks that are every bit as handsome as anything Ford has to offer. Our handsome new swept line models, our glamorous swept sides, and our U-lines all establish our styling leadership. The new swept line pickups, like the one we're in, are brand new models this year. Tom Adams ought to see right off that it's a real beauty, with its smooth sides and full width design. Ford has no freshly designed trucks this year. In addition to styling, I think Adams is the kind of a guy who's mostly interested in things like convenience and extras. He likes things to go smooth, and I know he likes comfort. His shop is in this block, Mike. I see Dodge does look mighty good this year, and I sure like that Dodge hood that opens all the way up. But I like comfort most of all. I like it in my home, and I like it in my car, and I like it in my truck. I think Ford's more interested in my comfort than Dodge is. How about seeing for yourself, sir? Dodge cab comfort starts for you before you even get in, Mr. Adams. Right off, you have convenient pull-type door handles. You'll be able to open even when your arms are loaded. Ford still offers button-type door handles, the kind that demand a push and pull at the same time. And Dodge gives you key locks in both doors, once again, as standard equipment on all its cabs. Dodge has been offering this important extra at no extra cost for several years, but 59 Fords still have a key lock in the right door only as standard equipment. Mr. Adams, see how you'll have a handy storage space, not a gas tank behind your back in a 59 Dodge cab. Dodge gas tanks are outside the cab, but Ford still puts its tanks behind the seat. You can see that this Dodge difference gives you more protection against gas tank fire and explosion hazards. Now, Mr. Adams, you're over six feet tall. Inside a Dodge cab, you'll have three inches more headroom than you would in a 59 Ford cab. Dodge offers the most in this important comfort dimension. A tall man usually has long legs, Mr. Adams, and you're no exception. The extra clearance Dodge gives you between the steering wheel and the seat cushion doesn't seem like a great deal, but it can keep you from rubbing your legs against the wheel all the time. The same thing is true of the clearance between the steering wheel and the seat back. The Dodge advantage over Ford is slight, but it's Dodge that offers you the most room here. You know, Mr. Adams, a demonstration ride right now would help you appreciate how this Dodge will make a big difference to you in day in and day out comfort, especially when there are three people in your cab. Well, all right, but let's make it short. When you have the most in cab conveniences and the most in cab good looks, you're also likely to have the most in comfort, Mr. Adams, and a lot of little extras, the kind only Dodge offers all through its line, will mean a lot of big comfort to you. Once again, Dodge provides electric windshield wipers as standard equipment on all its trucks, regardless of the type of engine or cab they have. Ford provides standard electric wipers only on trucks that have V8 engines. In both standard and custom cabs, Dodge uses an attractive trim on the insides of all doors. Dodge thus offers you the most in this eye-appealing door trim. Ford still has bare metal with no trim on all its standard 59 cabs. As a Dodge driver, Mr. Adams, that driver-adjustable handbrake will give you the most in emergency brake safety and convenience. Ford's ratchet-type brake is not driver-adjustable, and you'd probably have to get a mechanic to adjust it for you. You'll keep this Dodge brake in perfect adjustment with an easy twist of the lever. That's a pretty good safety point, all right, about parking brakes. But you haven't said anything about the most important thing, your regular brakes. Ford got your beat? No, sir. Compared to Ford, our service brakes really give the low-tonnage customer the most. The brake system for all Dodge D100 models is completely new this year, and our D100s have larger, safer brakes than any comparable trucks in the industry. 
59 Dodge D100 brakes have a big 192 square inches of brake lining area compared to Ford's much smaller 179 and a half square inches for F100 brakes unchanged from last year. Dodge D200 models have brakes with nearly 200 square inches compared to Ford F250 brakes that have less than 198 square inches. We meet Ford with our D300 brakes too, 234 square inches to 232 for Ford F350 brakes. So you see, Mr. Adams, you're bound to have safer, surer stops with a Dodge. Dodge trucks have substantially larger brake lining areas in all low tonnage models. Year after year, Dodge has made a tradition of brake safety, and we're really proud of it. We would have beat Ford this year even without our completely new brake system for D100s. Dodge also continues to offer a larger and longer lasting heavy duty clutch as standard equipment on more low tonnage models than Ford does. The standard Dodge clutch for D100, D200, and D300 models is 11 inches in diameter and has over 123 square inches of lining area. Ford provides an 11 inch clutch as standard equipment only on F350 models. It offers a 10 inch clutch with six cylinder models and a 10 and a half inch clutch with V8s, both with much smaller lining areas as standard equipment for all other Ford low tonnage models. Well, I hope you enjoy the demonstration, Mr. Adams. We're very proud of the exceptional comfort and smoothness of our Dodge truck ride. What did you think of it? It did ride well, very comfortable. I'd like to stop in this afternoon when your Ford truck's in and appraise it, Mr. Adams. What time do you expect to be back? We'll go over those details then this afternoon. Thank you very much, Mr. Adams. It's been a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Adams. I'm sure you'll be in good hands with Dick here. Dick, that should prove to you that even the most enthusiastic of Ford-minded prospects respond favorably to Dodge when you show them you're interested in what they're interested in. Now, according to other selling situations, you have lots more to tell individual prospects that can switch them to Dodge. Now, you can say, for instance, that Dodge makes tradesman utility bodies available through production in both D100 and D200 models. Thus, we can deliver these units faster because Ford does not offer comparable utility bodies through production. Other prospects will be interested in this. A pioneer in four-wheel drive production, Dodge offers 22 power wagons in five basic models with up to 20,000 pounds maximum GVW. For the first time, Ford is now offering four four-wheel drives in two basic models with maximum GVW up to only 7,400 pounds. Thus, Dodge alone can offer the right truck of this type for every prospect's needs. We can also equip our Dodge D100 models with a full traction differential. Ford does not offer this on any Ford truck. Our full traction differential makes all half-ton Dodge driving easier because it will automatically split the truck's driving force and send it to the wheel that has needed traction on slippery or uneven surfaces. Like I said, Ford doesn't offer it. Ford doesn't offer it. That's true of a great many customer benefits that make 59 Dodge trucks the top trucks of the year. Compared to Ford, we've seen how Dodge has the most in low tonnage engines, horsepower, and engine performance, and the most in automatic transmission convenience and performance. We've seen proof that Dodge has the most in GBWs, in payload weight capacity, and in payload volume in practically every pickup, panel, and stake model. We've seen how Dodge has the most in low tonnage brakes, for safer, surer, more satisfactory performance. We've seen just how and why Dodge has the most in all-around functional styling and in cab comfort, cab convenience, and cab beauty. And we've seen plenty of proof that Dodge has the most in a whole lot of other terrific extras that Ford still does not have and so cannot offer at all, ranging from driver-adjustable handbrakes to a complete line of four-wheel drive models.
That's why we've got it made this year, when we're out to make a deal with a Ford-minded prospect. Of the two, Dodge or Ford, we've got the truck that should and will satisfy the needs of most people. So let's know our product. And let's remember that we will make more by selling passenger cars and trucks than we will by selling cars alone. So let's keep a sharp eye and ear out when we're talking to people who like Fords. When we find out just what it is they like and need, let's show them just how Dodge will give them more of it. Then we will get more of what we want more of. Yes. This is the year we can make more by selling trucks along with cars. And this is the year we can take more truck deals from Ford. This is the year we can make the most because this is the year we have the trucks with the most. 59 Dodge.